full on his face to be pole sitter and the likes of uh, Toby Summers is slower than him, unusual. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, the thing with Jaden is he can have good days and bad days. It's just some days he doesn't feel like ready for a start on the lights. It's off and it looks like John Ross, the New Zealand champion. What a whole shot. Third on the uh, grid, but he's got uh, two to three bike lengths as they go into the third corner. It's uh, Toby Summers on Summers Plumbers. Number 77 there in second place. And I think that might be a Hoogan Boozum in third. Yes, looks very much like a Hoogan Boozum in third. It'll be Al Hoogan Boozum of the two of them. James is a little bit slower, but it'll be Al Hoogan. In fact, no, that's 55 in third. Then we go to Al Hoogan Boozum. That's a Wolf Pack machine. Dan Metham. Dan Metham was 8th or 10th last weekend. Now he's up in the 5th spot. And somebody goes up on the inside at the end of the back straight at the John Jones Steel Corner. 600 action. Oh my God, this is good fun. All right, indeed. And uh, keen to take a note as well, folks, because from our qualifying, you're talking about times to qualify at 105.3 and you go down to, uh, you go back to 106.3, so only one second. You've covered seven riders in there as well. So seven riders within one second of a time is just sensational. So bring it on. This is our super sport class, folks. That's 600. It's a super sport name, not just a 600 production anymore because we used to have a super stock as well, but uh, that's now been dropped. Everybody realised that super sport is the way to go. It's uh, more closely aligned with uh, some top racing and that's exactly exactly what we want to see and what we are seeing. Electrocuted, come on. Where are they fans out there? Check it out. There he goes, the number one. He's back to defend it, of course. And all the glory there as well at the moment. John Ross to uh, lead them at this stage. So looking to John as the uh, Repsol Suzuki uh, heads through and uh, got a uh, lead on the field at the moment. But I tell you what, that lead has been closed right down, right down. Toby Summers coming. So there's uh, Toby the Flying uh, 77 out there on the uh, r, r Power Sport Bike Talk. Summers, Plumbers, uh, Metzler, uh, Bitterloo. Uh, supported uh, bike as well, so uh, Toby there on that Yamaha R6, we haven't seen Yamaha R6s at the front end of New Zealand racing for a few years, and so uh, great to see that we've got uh, Toby, he was certainly a great uh, uh, find as far as 600 racing, because he just, it was last year was only his debut season, and on his second season already making it happen, and, uh, just how exceptional he was as well, to have won the Suzuki series uh, recently, a great ride out there, so uh, uh, Toby Summers looking for all the work, but uh, John Ross looking good as well as being in front, uh, fastest on the racetrack, Spider. Toby Summers coming out out of the hairpin, they must have got him over the back there. We can't quite see. Apologise for that, folks, but it's still part of the excitement of the uh, Levels racetrack. Toby Summers, 7 7, never seen the circuit before until he came down. It was a bit twitchy there in practice, but he's got a uh, lead over and above John Ross. John Ross, about uh, 12 bike lengths. It's down to Jaden Kern and Al Hugenboosum, and that's uh, Dan Metham there in fifth spot. That's a good ride for Dan Metham, and uh, big moment at the end of the front straight for Cam Hudson on the last lap. Lost about 12 places, run off into the grass, but the main thing. He didn't come off and he still rejoined the pack. There's the bright leathers at about eighth place of number 21. And that's Avalon Bull. Check out her pitch. She's got a beautiful little wee calendar there for fundraising there. $20 for an hour Avalon Bull uh, calendar. You'll see her bright orange feathers followed behind her by uh, the man who won here in the wet last year. Seth Devereaux on the Kawasaki Ninja. 600 Followed by James Hugan, who's in Jeremy Holmes, go back to Ashley Payne, another great Wanganui flyer who's uh, pitting and travelling with uh, the uh, hotshot Jaden Carrick running in a third at the moment out there, as well as uh, Shane uh, Richardson welcoming Shane on his first time ever to levels. He can't believe how much work to do on this circuit compared to the more open North Island track, so he's really finding it a real mental drain, but a great young fella, and I'm looking forward to watching him over the next few years as he tackles the Wellington Pipeline's uh, uh, Wanganui Joinery 600 and makes his uh, debut here with Nathan uh, uh, Depros, uh, uh, Rex Minster. We're going to get Rex up here, Rex is a fine commentator in his own right so I want to see more of Rex up here along with Shay Williams. Stay with us folks because we've got Scott Kinder to talk to after this and we'll find out the drama of what we've got but uh, Spider it's all happening out there as uh, the man on his uh, debut here, this is a fine performance from uh, Toby Summers. I know his wife will be watching at home, Kirsten and the two kids, Emi and Ursula, Emi I think three and Ursula's five and I can tell you family, he's already got a lap record out, the lap record was 106.752 it is now on the 106.097 so a lap record here for the 600 they went into the fives qualifying 24 degree ta track temperature so a little bit cold, a little bit harder on some tyres but Toby Summers, man, what a, what a magical man. And what about, a, so think of somebody having a lap record being his first visit to a track. That's got to be, think of the credentials over the years who have been the other lap record holders of the people that have done mega millions of laps around here before they've cracked the lap record spider. So that's exceptional in itself. And a man who's done mega millions is there in second place. The Repsol Suzuki, John Ross, the legend in the 600 class, did Superbike as well a couple of seasons ago. Last year he had a Superbike, decided he could only run one due to injury, and he's concentrating on one. It is paying off, so there he is in second. It's still Jaden Carrick third. We go down to Ahu Gambuzum, Dan Metham, and we're looking out for a battle here. Reese Holmes, the man that came from eighth in this class in the dry last year, right up to get to the lead. Now, you look at those guys, they're all hot shots in the top 
probably 12 or 15. And the girls, of course, like Avalon Biddle, but to come from eight through the first, not having the best of rides at the moment, but still in a good solid seven. That's a caddy caddy man, Reese Holmes on 41. Followed closely, that looks like 64, Adam Chambers. In fact, no, it's 23, it's 23. I think it was the uh, 64, I think you're right, no, it was uh, Adam in there at the moment as we uh, look back to uh, uh, Seth and Avalon, uh, Jeremy uh, Holmes to go through there as well, down to John Jones Steele, they go, the beautiful sweeping corner, it's just a magnificent corner here at uh, Timaru, just love the way that unfolds and goes round, and of course, uh, the first time I came here, I thought, oh, there's not a lot of uh, spectators today down on the uh, spectator embankment, do only realise that when you come here and look, all the locals now, the big lot of spectators all head to the top end of the pits here, of course, because there's so much more of the track that they can see, including that brilliant, what I call the bubble, the part of the track that goes right round and almost touches back onto its seal. You can see riders that are coming back up here, going effectively from uh, left to right and coming right up towards the John Jones banner before they peel around the hairpin again, because that's they've almost come round on themselves. So, uh, great to see that part of the track. So, there we go, Toby Summers, John Ross. Interestingly enough, uh, uh, John Ross and the new fastest time, so that's got to be a lap record of Toby Summers. So, there you go, there's a classic uh, spider of the lap record, been broken twice in the same race here at the moment. So, John Ross has just uh, broken the lap record that Toby Summers had set just uh, two laps ago so uh, super exciting and how fast is this so uh, Toby Summers was the lap record holder now it's with John Ross he's back in second but he's on attack with Jaden Carrick Al Hoogenboosum superb run from uh, Alistair up there along with Daniel Medham but uh, Spider uh, this is a good uh, bunched up performance and as each of those two groups there's a little pocket in the front and then that other big group out there and when you've got the likes of uh, Dan Medham and Reese Holmes and Adam Chambers in there these uh, top ten placings are uh, far from being uh, performed at the moment we're not even halfway Oh, definitely 10 lap race here for the second round of the New Zealand Superbike Champion 600 class. And fastest man on the track, Ron Ross, is closing in on Toby Summers. So the, the front three pack might be spread out a little bit. The dice is on for fourth. It is Al Hugan Boozum, an early leader at uh, Ruapuna last weekend, riding with an injured arm. He had nerve damage earlier in the year, and he's probably only got 50% of uh, use in his arm, but he seemed to have to be able to hang on for the 20 lap. Carrick, new lap record holder. Jaden Carrick has got it, 105. So there you go. This is the third time, the third time. So it was Toby Summers. It was in John Ross. Now Jaden Carrick, who's in third place in that top three on the g Gardens home long and Toyota Suzuki GSXR 600. Here's now your uh, new levels uh, Timaru Yamaha Super Sport 600 lap record holder. This is incredible, Spider. Yeah, the other incredible thing is there's seven people out there on the track in six second marks. So the top three riders run all set a lap record on this race and all in the 105s. But the seven riders out there in the 106s, Seth Devro, uh, one of the masters here in the wet. He turned around to me before and he said that he's a second off the pace, but that won't matter too much. And he's proven there that he can max mix with the field as well, going over the hip. And it is still Summers, maybe three to four bike lengths to the Repsol Suzuki of John Ross. And the same distance down to third place. And that is the lap record holder at the moment, the fastest man on the track, 55, okay. Jaden Carrick. He's too close, too close to my comfort spider. He's too close there. He can't allow. If you're going to do for any uh, overtaking, you've got to have that little margin whereby you're quickly able to adapt and find a racing line to be so close behind that. And the speed those go guys are going. And my Minute mistake, and somebody like Jaden Carrick could be the innocent victim of that as we look back. And it's still that is unchanged, unchanged. So I'd suggest the way they've got so close again. Here's Jaden now, he's just done the right thing that I'm talking about, holding back now. I wonder whether it was either a bad exit or more. Was he in fact looking for it? There goes John Ross. John Ross looking to go up on the inside into John Jones Steele. Will he take the advantage this time? No, door slammed, absolutely slammed in his face. He had to quickly make a bit of a flex there and a change. But uh, Toby Summers had the right to it, and Toby held the line. Nothing wrong with that going through there, but uh, John. Ross almost through there, the Christchurch legend on that Repsol Suzuki, so spectacular to see, but uh, Toby Summers uh, John Ross and uh, Jaden Carrick Alright, we've got a bit of a, uh, a bit of a dispute up here in the commentators tower, we've got uh, Nick Cole to join us, and what, what's the lap record? A 4.8 By who? Me Alright then, what do you think these boys out there are doing what they're doing at the moment though, Is it, who's your predictions? Yeah, I think Toby's got the edge at the moment, but you know, John's a pretty smart rider. He'll sit there now and um, take his time. He's pretty sharp and pretty talented, though. Eh? Thank you very much. That, that was our official list, but the uh, lap record is in the fours, so we take that away from everybody. Meanwhile, back on the track, they're closing up. In fact, the man that's closing up the most is number 55 there in third place. Four bike lengths down the back straight. And now, if you know the speeds down this back straight, that's nothing. Four to five bike lengths. Jaden drops off a bit. That's John Ross coming on the inside now. It's a mirror image of last lap, the same thing. This is exactly the same as what happened in the 250 class. Luke Burgess went up on the inside from third to second over above Jake Lewis. 
but the wide sweeping line seems to have the advantage. But these boys know more about the track than I do. I'm just a commentator. Yeah, but in spite of the other thing is, I, both, I think in the both of their cases, they're coming up from a slipstream too early. A slipstream gives the advantage whereby you're being sucked along. You get that close, you're being sucked along, and then you pull out last minute to go tuck on the inside. Coming, he's pulling out here at the 250 metre mark. Far too early, I believe, to try and get that advantage to go through on the inside. But hell, exactly who am I? Just a bloody commentator. There's young Dylan Jeffries on bike number 16 at the back of the field, had injury last weekend. His mother said, you're going home, he's got a bound up leg and a bound up arm. No, we're going racing. So the family flew down, spent some time with him at the weekend, during the week. He's back out on the bike. He may be in last, but there's no first, it's no last. And a lovely lad too, and his old man's good. Last lap, final lap. Mike out. Toby Summers in the lead, coming onto the back straight. We will probably get across this lapper. Hopefully that's not a problem, but John Ross, we're going to watch what John Ross is. And he did it much better that time. He did it much better because he got the slingshot. See, he's come out earlier this time. Now he's trying to go with him. I reckon he's going to do it this time. He's going to make it stick. No, prove wrong. Prove wrong, it's still Toby Summers. Oh, I thought that was a little bit better from John because although he didn't use the length of the straight, he had got an exit out of Castro, much better. White flag this time, so it's an incredible run through. We're going to look for that top three again of Toby Summers, John Ross and Jaden Carrick and keen to look out for the others, but it's an awesome trio. Come on, race fans, warm your hearts, warm your hands as well. I hope you're ready for a big lot of applause. And here we go. No change, no change. Same top three. I mean, anything, Jaden Carrick just back off the pace of those other boys a little bit. He, uh, I don't think he'll make any difference in the point from here, but we're going to come through this S for the final time. So uh, look out for it. It's a tight one. Of course, the big V8s, they can't use anything as tight and demanding as this. I'll go right around the corner next weekend. Here we go. They're under the line. And here we go. Toby Summers to do it. Ahead of John Ross. Wow. Only just, only just. And Jaden Carrick, and Jaden Carrick still the fastest time. And as we've had corrected, with a time there at a 105.7, 105.7, uh, as uh, uh, Nick Cole has said, he has done a 104. So our apologies, our information uh, incorrect. But uh, hey, it, uh, it, at least it prompted Nick as he uh, right, has done the rightful thing and come up to uh, David. Some more other good news within the race back there, Spider? Well, not good news. Dan Medham seemed to be dropped off the pace there. In fact, dropped off the uh, off the track somewhere along the line. We don't know whether he's down or not, but Dan Medham certainly is uh, out and he must have disappeared off the uh, back straight. They're not sure whether it's crashed. Can't see any yellow flags, but... Uh, Hopefully it's all OK for the Wolfpack racing team. So 600 action. Toby Summers, John Ross, Jaden Carrick, Al hugan on 43, Adam Chambers, Seth Devereaux, Reese Holmes on 41, Jeremy Holmes, Avalon Biddle, James hugan Boozum, Aaron, Aaron Hassan, number 14, Cameron Hudson, Ashley Payne from Wanganui, Shane Richardson. That's a young lad who had a couple of crashes last weekend. He's from Wainuimata in Wellington area and decided to park it up and he's got back out there as well. Had some great riding at Wanganui for I think about 8th place for his first time out. Rex Muncher, Nathan Dipro, Shea Williams, Andrew Evans uh, and Dan Metham's off the thing. But Dylan Jeffries is the last finisher there. 19 out of 20 finish. So 600 action. Oh my, this is good. I saw it all last weekend. Uh, I love this track. 